Hi everyone, I'm Malene from English Made Easy and here's another interesting and easy lesson to show you how it can be disastrous if you use words that you do not understand only because you want to seem more professional and fluent in the language. It would be better if you kept it simple. I'll tell you why. I was watching a movie one evening when I was joined by a colleague. It was an exciting movie and we both enjoyed it thoroughly. At the end of the movie, we walked out together and were about to part ways when he turned towards me and said, that movie was too good, wasn't it? I nodded. I agreed with him. It had been uh, an extraordinary movie, a wonderful movie. But he continued and said, it was pathetic. And I nearly fell down the stairs. So you see, he probably wanted to use a word that he was not very sure of. He had heard often, but since he was talking to an English teacher, he probably thought that he should impress me with a new and exciting word like pathetic. Unfortunately, it didn't have quite the impact because you cannot use the word pathetic for something that you have enjoyed so much. Pathetic means miserable, something that arouses pity. He could have said something like, the movie was enjoyable, interesting, exciting, engaging, wonderful. But he chose the word pathetic without really knowing what it meant just because it was a new word that he had discovered recently and he thought he was putting it in the right place. That was awful. So do not use words you are not comfortable with until you learn how to use them properly. Learn the meaning, pronunciation and how to use it in a sentence. You might know the meaning and pronunciation and think that you can use it very well, but you might be mistaken because different words can be used in different contexts. English is quite a complicated language, so be sure that you have mastered the use of the word very well before you try it out so that you don't make a laughing stock of yourself in front of a huge crowd, right? With that, I'll end today's lesson till we meet again. And that will be soon. Until then, keep practicing because practice makes perfect. Bye for now. Cheerio.